Today, I will finally be trying childhood cereal that I wasn't allowed to eat as a kid. My childhood dreams are about to come true. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Oh, oh man. And to make it a little bit more fun, I thought we would try it with not only milk, but with chocolate banana milk, orange juice, apple juice, and water. First cereal we're gonna try, Captain Crunch Berries. Corgatize me, Captain. It looks like the cereal that everyone has had before, except me. Kinda looks like super artificial little kid food. I like my cereal to be super crispy. So I usually try to eat it as soon as possible when I pour the milk in. I don't like it. It tastes pretty horrible. It kind of tastes like eating cheese puffs dipped in sugar. I really don't like it. Why do I keep eating it? I would have to give this like a 2 out of 10. What am I going to eat it with next? Chocolate milk. It's still horrible. Next one. Cocoa puffs. Cuckoo for corgi puffs. Unfortunately, this kind of looks like dog food. Or it tastes better. I don't know if corn tastes really good with milk. I might be the only one thinking that. It tastes like they just smothered it in like Cocoa powder? I guess I would eat this if I was forced to. I would give this Cocoa Puff dog food like a 4 out of 10. Apple juice. Oh, it looks like dog food and gravy. First time eating apple juice with cereal. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I think I chose a really good apple juice. This one tastes super good. Tastes like chocolate apples. Next one. Fruity Pebbles. It looks like confetti. It smells like fruit loops. It's not bad. The flavor is like oranges and sugar. I would probably give this like a six out of 10. Water. I know a lot of people eat cereal with water, but I've never done it before. And to me, it sounds really gross. Oh man, that looks gross. Yeah. That tastes so bad. Oh my God. Ah does not mix well with the cereal. It's like super bland. Let me try again. Next cereal. Golden Grab cereal. It looks like little pieces of cardboard. That tastes good. It tastes like marshmallow. The only thing this thing needs is chocolate. Then it would be like a s'more. I would give this like a nine out of 10. How will it taste with orange juice? Yep. When you're sick, it looks like the stuff that you cough up. Next one? Tricks. Silly Corgi, tricks are for humans. Tricks used to have like shapes and stuff. Now they kind of just look like winter berry colors. It smells like Skittles. This one like initially tastes like Jolly Rancher. Immediately after it tastes like a cheese puff. I give tricks like a 3.5. Chocolate milk. Nope, nope. Final cereal. Honeycomb. Me love honeycomb. I don't know if that looks like a honeycomb. It looks like a flower. It's like buttered popcorn, but it's not salty and there's milk inside. I would give it a five. Orange juice. <laughs> yeah. I don't think orange juice tastes good with cereal. Why am I so easy? It tastes not good. Okay, let's do our alternate cereal combination now. It just tastes like sugar. Ah. For me as an adult, I guess the best cereal would have to be Golden Graham cereal. Thank you, Thomas Rhett. I don't even know who he is. Other than milk, best alternative is Honeycrisp apple juice. Thanks for being so patient, Gatsby, here. I give you your own Corgi cereal. Let's start the vlog. 10 things that make me happy? <laughs> A sunny day in the park, playing with my dog.
another thing that makes me happy. Getting boba milk tea. Gongcha. There's more of the fog loss. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, boba is kind of like a tapioca. Kind of tastes like a jelly inside. It adds like a different texture when you drink it. Ah, super good. I got a lot of suns. I can show you all the sun and grams. Me, I'm Jem, and these core uses the holograms. Me, I win, but these core just lose. They ship sink, but my ship just cruise. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner. Gotta get inspired. So we're at the grocery store right now. I'm just going to look around and see what they have. Oh look, it's Guardians of the Galaxy Doritos. Let's do some Korean. Korean fermented red chili pepper. Sesame oil. Canned corn. Ooh, I need real mayonnaise. Squeeze with ease. I need some ginger. Bell pepper. And mozzarella cheese. Okay, we're gonna make some trendy improvised Korean food for dinner, so I'm excited. Let's get back home. Hi, y'all wiping these thoughts. We don't give wins for that. I'm having another good year. We don't get blimps for that. Corgi gang still cold. We don't get minks for that. When I'm popping them bananas, we don't link chimps for that. Watching the fish swim around in my aquarium and the coral swaying in the current. I also just bought two frog spawn corals, my first euphilia in a while. This is to replace my other frog spawn that I had previously that died. I thought I would slowly try euphilia since those are like my favorite kinds of corals, the wavy kind. Right now they're on the sand bed, but I will be mounting them onto the rock. And that's your quick aquarium update. We're gonna be making a Korean meal, spicy chicken with corn cheese, which is apparently a really big thing in Korea. I've never had corn and cheese together, but it sounds really good. First, we gotta marinate the chicken for a few hours. In a bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil, one and a half tablespoons of fermented Korean chili paste, one teaspoon chili powder, one tablespoon sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, one inch of ginger minced, three garlic cloves minced, and then we mix. Next, we take some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, cut them into two to three pieces. We marinate the chicken. Also going to prepare some rice. I forgot to add salt, so I'm adding it now. And now we let it marinate for two hours. I love playing board games. Gatsby, you're in the way. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> right when I set up the camera, Gatsby's like, I'm gonna come in front of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Check out all those board games. And even more over here. I also really love arcade video games or competitive ones. I'm good on the Puyo Puyo side. I'm not very good on the Tetris side, apparently. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, we gotta clear it faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm almost dead. No. Uh-oh. It's over. It's over. No. No. Come on. Oh. Come on! Oh my gosh, I'm still alive. Not for long. Oops. No! Oh, it's over. It's over. No! No! <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> 
I love going to the gym and working out. It makes me feel really good. I love eating a home-cooked meal. Now it's time to make that food and check out on that chicken that's been marinating. Oh. I'm just gonna bake the chicken. So we are going to set the oven to 400 degrees. And we'll stick this in the oven for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, let's get started on our corn cheese. I saw this recipe on YouTube and I will put a link to the video in the description. We are going to finely mince one tablespoon of a carrot and one tablespoon of a bell pepper. Carrot for the corgi. There you go. <laughs> Let's heat up a pan. I'm going to be using this organic canned corn. Let's add our carrots and our bell peppers. And now we add one tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And we mix. Add one tablespoon of butter. Now let's add the corn mixture. Next, we're gonna add a handful of mozzarella cheese as well as some cheddar. Now we add some salt and some pepper. And this is done. Looks good. We'll sprinkle with some sesame seeds, some rice out. This is like corn fondue. Ooh, Korean inspired meal. Oh. First time eating corn cheese. <laughs> it's really good. Corn is like super sweet. You feel all the kernels and it kind of feels weird with the like super, super smooth cheese. And the cheese is like, of course, a little bit salty. The corn tastes super rich. Put the butter, the mayonnaise, and the cheese. Let's see. Mmm. It's not that spicy. It tastes really good. It was super simple. I can really taste the ginger. The spicy chicken with the corn, just because the corn is sweet. And I get the hype behind the corn cheese now. It's so good. The only thing to get this Korean flavor now out of my mouth is a raspberry popsicle. I love getting responses from fans on the videos I've been working on. How rude! My gosh! From your fan, James and Allie. And they have the Corgi on Fleet calendar. Ooh, fish skin shoes. A Chuck It Glow Ball. <laughs> you gotta have. Larry and Kim from Sonora, California. Cassie, there's all these stuff for you. We are writing to let you know how much we've been enjoying your YouTube videos and your calendar. It's been about a year since our last Corgi passed away. His name was Moon Doggy. What a handsome dog. Turkey Doggy Treats. These are topples. I gotta try them out. This will make a really good game for a vlog. I'll break it in half. Yeah. Okay, now he's gonna have to pull these apart in order to get them out. There you go. It's not gonna come out that way, Gatsby. You're gonna have to pull them apart. Yeah, good dog. I look over, Gatsby figured it out. Thank you so much again, me and Gatsby really appreciate it. Ooh, I just downloaded Mario Kart 8. It's finally available. There it is, it's downloading onto my Switch. I will definitely be playing some Mario Kart 8 in the next vlog, so excited. I love watching really good movies. Nocturnal animals. Alexa, lights off. Oh man, that movie was super captivating and super disturbing. I liked it. Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. What's going on on the screen? I can't take my eyes away. <laughs> what did you think, Gatsby? You ready to get your teeth brushed? Come over here. Thank you. Gatsby's dentist said it doesn't really matter how well you brush your teeth as long as you do it every single day. What a good dog. Gatsby smile and cuddling with him. Can you believe it? In the beginning when I first got Gatsby, he didn't really like to cuddle that much. And now he's like the cuddle corgi. Makes me super happy. 
And those are 10 things that make me happy. What are yours? Sushi cake? Sushi ingredient, roll call. Tuna, maguro, salmon, sake, shrimp, amaebi, salmon roe, ikura 